First tonight, two big developments in the Rodney Reed case. Both could affect his November 20th execution. They center on the judge who signed his execution order and an email the judge wrote two weeks after signing it. KXAN investigator Jody Barr has been working to break this for us. Jody, there are questions about whether the judge has retired. That's right, Sydney. And there are also questions about that email he wrote. He even questions his own ability to continue working as a judge. Now, Judge Doug Shaver told his boss back in August he's worried about making a mistake if he continues presiding over cases. In that August email, Shaver wrote, This has been an extremely difficult decision for me. I believe that I am still in excess condition mentally and physically. The problem is that I simply have been lucky uh, to get old. I have been in fear that I would or would not do something that could affect the outcome of some important legal matter. Shaver also said in that email that he loved his job and he's having a tough time accepting that he will never be a judge again. We asked Shaver for an interview, but he did not respond, but he did send us this in an email. He says, I have no concern, nor does anyone else, about my mental facilities. I'm simply getting older, and my energy level is not what it was. Now, our second big development, Rodney Reed's lawyers now claim Judge Shaver did not have the legal authority to sign Reed's death warrant back in July. Judge Shaver is already retired, but in 2014 was brought back as a visiting judge to handle Reed's case. Retired judges do this all the time in Texas. Shaver has presided over the case ever since. Reed's attorneys claim that assignment was only for a single day. It even said so in the 2014 assignment order. But for the past five years and two months, Judge Shavers presided over the Rodney Reed case. Now, the crux of Reed's argument here is that judicial assignments are not permanent. And since Shaver was never reappointed after 2014, Shaver's assignment should have ended years ago. But the termination was, or his assignment was never terminated, right? It was, absolutely, it was not terminated. But, you, you know, there uh, is still a lot of legal battling yeah. left here. There is a hearing next week um, in Bastrop County. Now, the execution, again, though, is just 12 days wow, away. Yeah. And the main question right now is, did the judge who signed this death warrant for Rodney Reed, did he have the legal authority to do it? All right, Jody, we know you're going to keep looking into this for us. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. And Reed supporters are hosting a statewide rally outside the governor's mansion tomorrow from 2 to five. Speakers include Reed's mother, brother, a cousin of murder victim Stacy Stites, lawmakers, and several exonerated death row prisoners.